Master of Trophy in Society is a two-year program and it aims to educate 21st century trophers um, who are conscious and who are socially engaged and who want to speak about their realities through the practice of trophy. And the program stands on three core values of uh, research, impact and collaboration. So this notion of impact has always been very important, but over those years, the last four years, I would say we sort of started to devolve into, uh, well, what we've sort of started to term like a soft impact. Yeah. What is, how would you sort of define a soft impact? Well, I don't know if we have reached a definition yet, but I think uh, we're looking at how, um, how a smaller conversation can also be impactful and also be a start of something, uh, an agent of change, let's say. But it's still an ongoing process and it, it, we, we here at MAPS, are, are we, we're not uh, claiming that we have all the answers, but I think what's interesting is that we are asking the right questions, at least that's what we believe, and we are trying to sort of come to not a conclusion, but an understanding in a very collaborative way. This is quite a demanding study in terms of engagement with theory and in terms of making, and that can sometimes lead to too much distraction or to uh, a certain paralysis in terms of making and uh, I see it as my task to help students through that and that's pretty much on a one-to-one -one basis. But yeah, it's definitely intense so far. I think the first two months we uh, it's intense but it's it's you know pos positive, pos yeah, positively think... intense. <laughs> I think the beginning of the first year is actually really like you get yeah. thrown a lot of ideas and texts and like things at you um, and that like first you kind of have to take in everything yeah. and then afterwards you also have to decide for yourself okay which are the parts that I'm leaving for myself like uh, what do I want to work with in, uh, in the future. They, they want to expose you to an array of information and then you kind of grab with you what you what you use in your practice but yeah and help you to also deconstruct your practice and then find again what you want to do yeah so it's a it's a journey i think what's really nice about the program is that it's small and intimate so there's about 12 to maybe 14 students per year over the two years means about 24 students. And so I think the notion of uh, perpetually undergoing examination of the questions that we're in, such as what is impact, um, in a sort of maybe sounds kind of corny, but like a laboratory setting. And I think the space that we're in now sort of also speaks to that um, generating of communal ideas to sort of further and develop the initial questions that maybe we as a department are also interested in. Um, there are one-on-one -on -one discussions. We also try to, to facilitate as much peer discussion as possible. So where we organize the, the, the moments and the topics and the forms in which to exchange, but where the, 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 the actual exchange is between students, because they all come into this program having certain expertise. Um, so we try to facilitate that that is made most uh, productive. Um, and then there are, of course, group discussions that quite often center around theoretical notions or texts, but then from there go back to, to how is this relevant for us in, in the making and how can we use theoretical notions as tools literally to get a grip on what we are doing and to reflect critically on what we're doing. Yeah, and also like um, deconstruct how pictures are made and who are make uh, who is making pictures in our world and um, how we can change that or make it differently to to, to see uh, who is holding the power right now and how can we break power structures through different kind of visuals and different kind of photography. Um, what I felt before going here was that I kind of take my pictures and then I send them to a magazine and they publish it, do whatever with it, and I'm not really in control of that anymore. And I'm not really like 
I'm not putting the images in the world the way I see them myself or where I think they can have an effect. Um, mm. So I think that was a big motivation for me to go here actually. So not only to produce work, but also like to interact with the world um, with your work in a way. I think maps is like an integral part of maps is this whole process of they really, they bring you right through the process of research, making the work, but also the, the sem dissemination of the work and then really continuing to be involved in the work and letting it grow as well. Like it's not just like a finite thing. Um, so, which is quite exciting because it feels like more of a living project than a, than a dead project. And yeah, um, yeah to be honest, it gives me, because there's a lot of pessimism in photography and it, coming here gives me hope. So if you're a photographer that has a uh, social concern, uh, a degree of responsibility and citizenship, that's sort of where our focus is really in essence. It's about having photography and understanding photography's actions and movements in and through the world, first and foremost. So trying to build up the collaborations and communities, the sort of the collective identity that one of the imaginations that can be conjured with photography. That to me is why you would come and study photography in society if you have that um, desire. And, and uh, we really value the idea of uh, alumni aftercare. Uh, it's not something that we started for formally yet, but um, we are aiming to start a program uh, which deals with alumni aftercare. Uh, but but it's still visible e even informally here. It's uh, really we don't say sever we don't uh, sever the relationship immediately um, after the graduate. Uh, we we try to stay in touch. The alumni are always involved and around, um, and we continue to try and support their practices as much as possible, even beyond uh, the educational period. It's really about uh, the community that we have built so far and the community we, we envision to build in the future. So MAPS after graduation is still your part of the MAPS community.